not sure what I initially saw in the anime K that caused me to watch it, but I didn't find myself regretting it. It had some cool action and a very vibrant art style. That being said, it wasn't the visuals that kept it on my mind, it was the OST. So let's hear volumes 2 and 3 of the K OST because... Volume 1 doesn't exist but it does but it doesn't? I don't know. Out of the 41 tracks, I like 4 of them. I can't help but be in awe of the usage of colors that K utilizes. It feels very unique and as someone who enjoys a colorful palette in media, it's right in my wheelhouse. I also feel certain tracks of the OST share a similar style. It's so diverse and bright, but also has unorthodox sounds to it. Ikari is a very simple track with a quick loop. However, I can't help but be drawn to whatever the main sound is. It's hum-worthy. It's catchy. I dig it. The next track is Night. I love me some violin and this puts it center stage and uses it in a slightly different way than we typically hear. This track is nice because I feel it invokes an upbeat, hopeful attitude while having hints of despair. The track is up-tempo, but the violin is slow and somber. It's a great mix of sounds and a fantastic track. The final track is what has kept the anime K on my mind all these years and it's knock-on effect. I spent a long time researching this track and once I found it, it was destined for the playlist. It just sounds so beautiful. I love the sadness but also the discovery. It almost feels like there's a mystery to the sadness and the answer is in the cusp of your palms. It's without a doubt one of my favorite tracks on the OST. And that's volumes 2 and 3 of the KOST. Out of the 4 tracks I liked, Knock On Effect was already on the playlist and Night was added to it. I've earned one experience this time around and now it's time to seek out the next OST. Thanks for watching, appreciate it, see you on the next video.